In this recording, we'll deal with another fundamental concept in algebra, the square root. I'll show you the definition of the square root and some of its important properties. So if you're given a real number x, so x is a real number, then we say that the square root of x square, the root of x square, is equal to x now. It is equal to the absolute value of x. And again, this is a mathematical definition. Mathematical definition. Essentially, you, if you were given any real number, the square root of that real number is the positive root of that number. For example, if you're given x is equal to 4, we know that 4 is equal to 2 square. Then the absolute, rather, the square root of uh, 4, or 2 square, which is the root of 4, is equal to only 2. You cannot put that it is equal to 2 or negative 2. It's only equal to 2. Again, this is a mathematical convention. You know that if you have uh, x equal to 2, then x squared is equal to 4. You guys know also when x is equal to negative 2, then x squared is equal to negative 2 squared, which is equal to 4 as well. But by definition, the square root of 4 is only equal to 2. It is not equal to 2 or negative 2. Again, this is a mathematical definition. So be careful here, because if you're given a questions where you have to solve. When solving x squared equal 4, you have two solutions to this. Then x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2. Now, this is an entirely different question. It is not the same question as asking you what is the square root of 4. If you ask the square root of 4, again, it's a unique value. And the unique, that unique value is the positive root of 4. It is 2. But if you ask to solve x squared equal 4, you have two different values, two opposite values. Actually, you should put negative 2 here. Two opposite value, x equal 2 or x is equal to negative 2. Now, as you can see, there is a relationship between the square root of a number and its absolute value. This absolute value is just to make sure that uh, the number is positive. Okay? Now, because of this definition, uh, you can see, for example, that the absolute value of 0 is, you know, the square root of 0, rather, is equal to 0, the absolute value of 0, and is just equal to 0. Because as you know, 0 square is the same as 0. Now, the square root of negative x square is, again, equal to the absolute value of negative x, which is equal to the absolute value of x itself. If you follow the video regarding uh, the properties of the absolute value, you know that the absolute value of negative x is the same as the absolute value of x. Now, inside the root, you cannot have a negative number. If you don't have the square and uh, you're given, for example, the root of x without the square, by definition, uh, this x inside the radical, this is called a radical, you know, is such that x has to be positive or zero. Essentially, you cannot take the square root of a negative number. 
Now, I'm not talking about the cube root, uh, you know, the, the, the odd root of a number. For the odd root of a number, you can have actually a negative number. For example, you can have the cube root of negative 8. I'm talking about the square root. And this is also true for any even root. The radicand, the number inside the radical, which is called the radicand, cannot be negative. It has to be 0 or a positive number. Okay? So if ever you are asked to find the domain the definition of uh, a function that involves a square root or an even root, then you w must make sure that the number, the whole expression, I would say, the whole expression inside the radical is non-negative. It has to be zero or a positive number. And that's how you find the domain, the, the domain of definition of that function. Okay? So I hope this uh, helps you understand what uh, the square root is uh, and some of the properties of the square root. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, use it uh, uh, when solving questions involving the square root. Thank you very much for watching.